And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up. It's AFC Wimbledon, and they take on Carlisle. Might be a chance here. Just drifted into the illegal position. Offside, in the opinion of the officials. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, 5 3 2 or 3 5 2. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball. Defensively, those fullbacks will be asked to supply. A real opening now. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, it's the timing, Derek. The ball through, matched by the run, and it's a lovely finish. Fabulous goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. One nil then. What a shocking pass, really. You can't help feeling, when you look at the table, that when you're playing dominant football such as they have been, that they're going to lap the field. Yeah, absolutely. They've been so professional in what they do, on and off the pitch. They focus on each game. They can see the finishing line now, not too long to go. Can't see anybody catching them. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Oh, he's through here. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him, and he's having a field day. Well, look at this. Don't you just love counter-attack football? Absolutely brilliant. One key ingredient, pace, and they've got it in abundance. What they do to that defence from then on is absolutely brilliant. Well, a second goal for them here. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a goal for Northampton Town. 16 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McInerney keeping us right up to date. And it's played into the centre. Clattered away. He has very much been the talk of the town going into this match and the reports have been confirmed he will in fact end his career at the end of the season no two ways about it Lee a big loss for the club well absolutely they've got to fill that gap more to the point must score and he's fired it against the post can they get in behind them they certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on. Well, speculative. Worth an effort. Two goals down, why not? Given away. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Wood. And the cross goes in. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. He must finish! Going for power there, but just too much elevation of the shot lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. The visitors are struggling with possession, really, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them, and with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for Port Vale. 32 minutes played. 1-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Couldn't keep it. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. It's got to be! They'll be cross for themselves based on the position he had taken up. Well, yeah, it was poor technique, wasn't it? Thrashed out it a little bit, went for power. And given away. 
options around him.
The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Well, they get high marks for that move, but they couldn't make it count. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a second goal for the home team. 47 minutes played. 2-0. Many thanks, Alan. Delivered into the area here. Well, the clearance, half-hearted. Well, he normally delivers, I think that's fair to say, but he hasn't delivered in this match. Well, all eyes are on him, and quite rightly so. He's normally a very influential player, but not today. Not sure he'll be able to get his team back into this, to be honest with you. Well, we've been wondering if this deal might go through. Now it has gone through, and good news for Dortmund fans, Lee. Well, what does £65 million get you? I'm hearing that's about the figure they paid for him. He's worth a lot more than that, I think. I think he's a real treasure. Let's see how he performs over the next few games. Wintel with it. It's neat passing. A glorious chance. Will he finish? And that completes an impressive hat-trick. Well, keep counting. Three now. But at this rate, he's in for a hatful. Well, having scored two, he's going to get the hat-trick at some point, you feel. He's just so full of confidence. Never looked like missing. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McAnally to tell us more. It's a second goal for the home team. 60 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. There you go. Got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. Whatever it takes to keep them out. Powerful enough, but not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. Well, there'll be mixed messages in training next week from the coach. He'll be really happy with the creativity of the team. But I think the forwards are in for a bit of a telling off. They haven't been clinical enough today. Doughty defending to win the ball back. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a second goal for Exeter City. 65 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. And a substitution in the offing. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Give it away. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Targets available. Cross comes in. You never really know, Lee, if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley in that fashion. Yeah, hero to zero. When he struck that, you think, wow, and then all of a sudden you realise where it's gone. Galloway. Wintel with it. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Port Vale. 77 minutes played. 2-2. Two -two. Cheers again, Alan. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Knight. Looks promising, this. This attack looks highly promising. Not all that convincing defensively. Only 10 minutes remaining here. 
It's all about translating threats into goals. Pulls it back. He's gone for power, Lee, but it's wide. Well, no real direction, but the power was there. And you're right, it's just gone past the post. Collins. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. Extremely sloppy in possession. And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Galloway. Bridge. Running with the ball confidently. Cutting the ball back. Whatever it takes to keep them out. And there goes the final whistle. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed. Bodies forward and the break. I've just got a couple of questions I want to ask you about the match. Thank you.